another Game Boy game. Hello everyone and welcome to a random gameplay of Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, new save file. Let's get this game started to show you how it's like and give it a little brief review. Controls are pretty nice, hold B to run, D-pad to move, A button to jump, feels just like any regular old Mario game. Man, that is one angry hill in the background. I guess they're not very pleased that I'm invading their land. So anyway, we got Goombas. They're kind of slow, but here, watch this. Watch this. It's it's like stuff in the game has space physics, or they're really lightweight. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's it's like a lot. Look at that Goomba, really really slow in the air spawning. <laughs> it's. I mean, the game is good, I just always found that really weird that there would be uh, such a thing, you know, that it doesn't match Mario's gravity, I guess you could say. It just looks kind of out of place. Still very fun to play, though, and I, I missed the pipe to get through here on the other side, didn't I? Yeah! There's two entrances to that uh, thing there, unless I tried going down the pipe and I fail. I thought, now, yeah, whatever. Paragoomba there in this game. Coins there also in this game, piranha plants, all classic enemies, but you will soon see that there are quite a lot of unique enemies as we get through this a little bit further here. This is just like the intro here. Hearts are one-ups, stars, really odd music. <laughs> That's a checkpoint, that bell is a checkpoint basically. And I wonder if I should be killing enemies with the star to see if I can get a one-up out of that, because I think if you kill five enemies with that you get a one-up. By the way, if you're big, you can press down in midair to spin and break blocks like so. It's all standard Mario stuff, I guess you could say. Whoa, that plant was kind of... Oh, oh, it, it, oh, <laughs> it kind of glitches into the... Uh, um, I, don't, I was gonna say dialogue with the menu bar at the bottom there. I mean, the in info bar at the bottom, excuse me. Eh, I just, for some reason, cannot think of the name of something so simple. <laughs> Spikes are pretty pointy, you probably don't want to fall into them, and by the way, if you hit this bell at the end of a stage... You get... A bonus game! It's the crane game. People's most hated game ever, because it's highly rigged. Well, in real life. <laughs> Woo! I got a 3-up! I was actually aiming for a carrot, but eh, well, I'll take that. I want to show you what the carrot power is like. In fact, I didn't even show you what the power that I have is like right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have an overworld here. It's pretty open-ended. There's a lot of stages here, and you can pretty much shrink down even on that to go to other stages. Yeah, you can pretty much go to any world. And as the name of the game states, that is the six golden coin. I mean, you need to get the six golden coins. Well, at least that's what they hint at. And there are six worlds to clear out. Hint, hint. Well, I'm gonna go through world one here. At least I think it's world one. They're not numbered. This is the tree zone. And yeah, I got fireballs. That's a fire flower. That's what I had, basically. Oh, geez. Fuzzies. Fuzzies, no! Anything but the fuzzies. I can't... No, I, I cannot get addicted to those again. I... I spent months in rehab, no, I, I just can't go through that all over again. Anyway, as you can tell, there's a, a frog here that's... Ah! Invisible coin blocks of evilness! Oh wait, me what? Is this like a secret? Oh wait, wait, wait a second. I thought that... Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, oh, oh! Come on, get up there, Mario. I knew you could do it. It's kind of hard to get jumps of that distance without a running start. That uh, guy looks prickly, but he's actually not all that... Wow, that was a great jump, PK again. You timed that well. <laughs> but anyway, that enemy was relatively safe, the prickly guy. Now, wait a second. Wait, wait. That's what I thought. More fire, yeah! And... Whoop. Just do not inhale the fuzzies. Just get checkpoints. Do not inhale the fuzzies. Wait, isn't this a dead end? I think this is a dead end. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, but I, I still remember it decently well, I guess you could say. Yeah, another power up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't hold items in reserve like you can in uh, Super Mario World, alas. Your powers will just uh, replace the other power, basically whatever you have in your arsenal. Do not fall for... Uh. 
I just said don't fall because down is a waste of time, at least in this case. Not death, just waste of time. Then it- jeez. <laughs> Come on now, this doesn't feel that much different than other Mario games. I mean, it's a little- I mean, it feels a little bit different, but... Yeah, it's not that much different to the point I should be having that much issues. Uh, there's also passages in the game that you can only be... Uh, that you can only go through small- Oh, come on! <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. I didn't try that jump before in my other playthroughs, I guess. Alright, gonna get myself a 1-up. Maybe. Maybe. Four. Five. Yeah. Can I get a sixth? No, I didn't think so. That's too bad. That's too bad. Boop. And wait a second, we are at the end. We are at... Jeez. I think the thing is that Mario's got a little bit more forward momentum than I'm used to. Oh, no, I will not go in the goal without hitting that. Yeah. Woo! By the way, this game has secret exits as well, so uh, be on the lookout for those. Though I won't spoil anything in this random gameplay in terms of secret exits, because I'd like to... Uh, this is more of, you know, just like to show you how the game is, how my thoughts are on the game and whatnot, without spoiling too much of it, I guess you could say. Anyway, stage two of the tree zone. Oh, we're inside the tree. It's all jellylicious goodness. Why would there be jello inside a tree? I don't know. It's probably supposed to be tree sap, but it looks kind of jello-ish the way that it is. You know, it's colored and yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot, why did I do that? I, I actually had a power that I could have showed you it's new you know something different and ow whatever what's in here one up secret one up though it's not that secret because you can easily jump up there <laughs> i guess it's more like an out of the way one up bullfish there is no match for me in fact uh you can s you have quite a lot of power underwater watch us you just press down and you could yep oh, gone let me there we go yeah you can even kill enemies like that you know rather than having to avoid them via your spinning so, it's, you have a lot more flexibility in this one than you do other Mario games. Uh, side note, just for the uh, heck of it here. Oh, these guys explode, by the way. You hit... Oh, shoot. You hit them, they turn into bombs. But anyway, side note. Um, I, I have not been able to find a decently priced copy of the original Super Mario Land, and therefore I have actually never played the first Super Mario Land, which is too bad, because I heard it... Oh, oh no, 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 we'll not fall in spikes. We'll not fall in spikes. Because I heard that the game is, and I, oh, actually, I've not just heard, I've seen it, uh, owl poopers, that the game is pretty quirky, and I like quirkiness, and it's kind of a shame that I haven't been able to find a copy of it, so yeah, I've played two, but not one. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, secret path. Actually, wait, I'm not going to be able to go through here without the powers of Bunny, aren't I? Oh, I can actually, oh. I guess they, some blocks automatically give you a power without having a uh, mushroom first. Okay, you get the power of floating when you have this, which is incredibly handy. Uh, my jump button failed me for some reason. Am I gonna be able to gonna be able to get through this? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess I could have bounced on enemies if I didn't have that. But wow, that was kind of kind of weird that my jump button failed me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Will not be exploded. By the way, it's kind of awkward to jump out of these. In case you didn't realize that! Whoop. Whoop. Okay, just gonna leave Bomberman behind. And look for secrets. Even though it's not really a secret. This is where paths join up. Uh, you're, you're normally supposed to come down through here from another path. So that was just one path of two. Let me get... Bell! Yeah! And the stage does not end until you go through that door or hit the bell. So you got multiple chances at hitting that bell on most of them. Alright, carrots. Ah, uh, just a good kind of a guess at what was coming out. It's kind of hard to predict what you'll be able to get from it. Like, I mean, in terms of timing and yeah, well, I'm fine with a three up, I suppose. Alright, split path. Let's go to the ant farm. Well, it's more like an ant tree, I, I guess you could say. Here's a hair across. He's just hanging out here, just having some fun. Oh, shoot! Down is death. <laughs> Duh. I hope no one headbutts the trees. The wildlife are pretty dangerous here. Although, although finding a hair across is a pretty good find. So maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to headbutt this particular tree. 
but you'd have to wor worry about the other critters, and they're much more common, and yeah. Oh, no, 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 nope, Venus fire trap, fire trap, nope, not gonna happen. No secret in there, I guess. By the way, the objective is to climb to the top of the tree. Each stage has its own little theme of sorts, I guess you could say. This one's obviously tree climbing. <laughs> Can I get up here? Yes. I thought I could. And, oh geez. That's right, that one moves away from me. It's a, it's a relatively harmless, quote-unquote, enemy as a result of it doing that. <laughs> Boop. And going up further. We will reach the top of the tree and get the first golden coin. Oh yes. And shoot, why did I think I had a fireball? I am <laughs> sometimes an idiot. These fall wait oh shoot! Where am I? <laughs> I think yeah, this is the correct path. I was wondering if I was supposed to go right or left after I fell from there, but I, I figured it was left because I, I climbed up pretty high from my last path and figured, yeah, that's probably where I was. Okay, getting back on track. You stop spitting. It's not polite. Not polite in the slightest. Well, at least spitting at people. <laughs> now, wait a second. That block. I gotta respawn that thing. Um, Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to... Aha! I did sort of a duck jump there. I don't know if you could tell on the video because it went by pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I'll screw it. <laughs> I just go to the goal. And I'll play this stage as well. It is... The Zinger Hive with caterpillars. Can I go up here? Yeah, I can go up here. I thought so. There's like multiple levels to this level, I guess you could say. Um, let's go down here. Oh, wait, I thought... Oh, maybe this isn't the multi-level level that I was thinking of. Maybe it's on another stage. But yeah, I guess there is only one path at this point here. So yeah, this game's pretty fun, though. It uh, lacks a, a bit of polish in certain areas. And uh, here, we hear, here we have a bee thwomp. I guess you could say. <laughs> but what I mean is that it lacks polish in stuff like um, the physics of things. Like I said, things are really, really slow. Um, th that don't really feel all that slow. And then there's some graphic graphical issues and stuff like that. I, I guess it's more like a... A sign that other times, if anything, I guess you could say this one is spiky. Do not jump on it; it will harm you. In secret, oh yeah, I remember. Oh no, I can't go this way. <laughs> which which one it had to have been this one then? Because it takes you below. Yeah. Oh, but wait a second. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. But um. I don't really want to bother with all of these blocks. I mean, it's more like a bonus area than anything, and this could take quite a while. And there's a lot of oh, whoa, a lot of annoying enemies on the other side. So let's just take this this path. I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, the the regular old caterpillars don't really have all that much of an issue. The spiky ones, kind of an issue. Oh, ooh, maybe not so much an issue now. Like mass murder them. Oh, let me in there. So I guess maybe I did try that other pipe before and I just didn't go in the pipe because the pipes are very specific in how you go into them. By the way, these these flowers don't hurt you despite you, what, what you might think. They seem like a type of uh, a Venus flytrap of sorts, but no, they're actually harmless. All right, is there any safe to go down there, please? So I, I hit the checkpoint. I guess it doesn't really matter if I test that out. By the way, you can also run across gaps uh, if you hold the run button, so that's uh, a Mario thing that got transferred over. Oh, come on, I can't hit the bottom blocks because I'm large. Really? That's that's discrimination against taller people. No, oh, well, I can't get that middle one. <laughs> I could get the side ones. Wait, wait, wait. Aha! That's my thoughts. No way, Jose, would there be not a way to get to the goal. That was kind of bad grammar, but whatever. All right. Roulette, go! It looks like it is carrot time. Oh, yeah. G glad I can actually use this before losing it. <laughs> I mean, I've been, having, ah, I've been having trouble keeping that thing for whatever reason. I don't know why. 
All right, anyway, yeah, you hold the jump button in midair and you get that effect, and that is incredibly broken in some aspects. Like, normally you would have to use your platform to get, get across there, but not with the bunny ears. Oh no, how the heck do they even keep him afloat? Are they that powerful when they flap? Ah, I probably shouldn't question the game logic. That could be devastating to the universe, and then some. Alright, figure eight, Owl. I will name you Eight Ball just because I can. I don't know why, but I will. How the heck do you get these boxes? Or maybe you just don't get these boxes. <laughs> can you get them with that cloud? No, you cannot. Hmm. I guess those boxes are just for show, as far as I can tell, unless you dare to try and clip them or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, go, 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 faster! Actually, I could have just glided across that, I suppose. More discrimination for larger people. Oh, come on now. Uh, where's land? I need to know where land is. There's a lot of blind jumps in this game, and that's kind of that's kind of an issue as well. I'm not a fan of blind jumps. Unless there's, like, floor all beneath you, and it's just there to give you a little thrill, I guess you could say. Like, just something to make you go, <gasps> Am I jumping down? Am I gonna hit something? Oh, no, no, no. oh land is everywhere. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! A huge crow! I will not steal your egg, but I will punish you for destroying my crops. I am tired of you coming back to my cornfields and eating every single ear of corn. There, it just cuts into my profits, it's not good for business, it's going under, and the boss is over! It's a really easy boss pattern. <laughs> Woo! Well, I guess I do want what's inside your egg, considering it's a coin, but I don't want the egg itself. Don't get me wrong here. Woo! I don't know why there's the game name printed on the door of the castle to this place, I've always found that kind of odd. <laughs> I guess it's like a, I don't know, maybe like a, a reference just for the fun of it, like one of those, uh, I don't know. <laughs> By the way, this is the door that uh, just had a thing, you need all all six coins to open the door. I can't get in, so that's going to have to be done on another time if I decide to do a walkthrough. By the way, uh, Wario is the uh, baddie of this game. Oh yeah, can you believe it? This is his intro, intro game. He started out as a baddie and turned into, well less of a baddie. <laughs> I didn't want to spoil that, I guess, until I got to here, just for the sake of showing things in order, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so with that, I, I mean, since I finished World 1, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you later.